Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to Fab Scraps Card Making Project number 10. Now last week we looked at the brand new Love Story collection. So this week we're looking at the brand new Days Gone By collection. Because every week we're going to do alternate collections until the new collections come along. So this week it's the turn of Days Gone By. We're going to make a gorgeous card that's got a shaker feature on the front. And we're going to make handmade flowers for it. Now, whether you've just watched the handmade flower video or not, I'm going to give you the chat about the flowers and then you might want to go back if you haven't seen it. Our card today is going to feature some of our handmade flowers, some of our roses. Now, this is the finished card and I'm showing you it at the beginning um, because I want you to see the flowers. There we go. So the handmade rose is using a punch and I've made a little video so you can see how I've put the flowers together because I know if I just put these on and say oh no I've made these flowers somebody will say oh how did you make them? So I've created a video just showing how I've put them together. It's only very quick and you might want to slow it down or keep stopping and rewinding just because I think I might have gone a bit too quick on putting them together. Today's card is a beauty. It's made up of lots of different elements from the Days Gone By collection. You can now purchase your Fab Scraps collections. There's um, a place on my blog, if you go to that, where you can order your Fab Box. And there's four Fab Boxes available. There's two of the older collections that we've looked at, Free Spirit and Extravaganza. And then there's the Love Story and the Days Gone By, which are the new collections. Both beautiful. The price includes shipping door to door, so it doesn't matter where you live in the world and it can be sent to you. How great is that? And I think by now some of the people that ordered originally when we released the Fab Box, box a fortnight ago might be starting to get their collection. So I'd really like to hear from you to see what you think. What you think of the papers and the beautiful designs. Let me know. You can comment on Facebook, you can comment on YouTube, you can contact me directly. Send me photos if you've made something. Have you had a fab box and you've made something with it? Show me a picture. I'd love to see them. So, without further ado, sit back, relax and let's have a look at today's gorgeous project. For today's project, our base card is going to be a 6 by 6 inch square card. I've already stamped on the back using a rubber stamp, my handmade label. And I've added my name and this is Fab 10 for anyone counting, Fab Scraps Project 10. We're using the Days Gone By collection, now obviously available worldwide. And I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp clean edge along the side of the card. So the first thing that we're going to do is the inside of the card. And I think this is a really pretty card. Very different and it shows off to perfection the gorgeous colours in this collection. Now for the card insert all I've done is taken a piece of ivory cardstock and you do get a dragonfly stencil in this collection. And all I've done is use the stencil in the centre, inked it and then inked the edges of the ivory cardstock as well. I've got flat tape on the back. I'm going to be very controversial here because there's no um, sentiment on this card whatsoever. So you could make it ahead of time and then add a sentiment stamp inside or not, as the case may be. Now that, I think, is a very pretty insert as it is anyway. However, I've used a die to die cut some of the papers in the Days Gone By collection. And this is from the 8x8 set. And I've die cut some corners. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to show you the die that I've used. Because it's such a pretty die. It's actually the Marianne collectible dies. And the corners 1 and 2. I don't know which is set one and which is set two. That's why I thought I'm going to have to show you it. But that's the die I've used. I've used it for the front of the card as well. It cuts and embosses. For the inside, I've only die cut it. I've die cut it four times. And I've used, as I say, one of the Days Gone By papers from the 8x8 extra bonus papers. I've got flat tape on the back. 
only for quickness. I would actually normally add a little bit of wet glue or maybe use the Xyron for something like this to be able to get edge to edge adhesive on it. But as I said, just for time, I've got some flat tape on various sections just to make sure that we're going to, it glues, um, it sticks down in good time. So all four corners and how pretty is that? It's just the colour tones and everything just work so well. And for an insert, I know you, you're all going to be saying, oh, don't write right across the dragonfly. You should have positioned that differently. Well, that's up to you. I'm not going to write in mine, but if you're going to write in yours, maybe you could position it to one side, to one of the corners. But I just think that looks gorgeous. Oh, fab. Huh? Fab scraps, get it? Fantastic. So now we can do the outside of our card. And I'm sure my friend Carla was giggling there. Using my bone folder again to make sure that I've still got that nice sharp edge. Because we've got quite a lot going on the front of this card. So I've taken one of the papers. I've trimmed it down to just less than 6 by 6 inches. And I've got flat tape on the back. And I'm simply going to position it through the centre. So this was one of the extra 8 by 8 papers in the bonus collection and there we go just pop that through the center press it down now i've got four of the corners you've just seen me use them for the out uh, for the inside i've die cut four of the corners in gold foil i've got 3d foam on the edges just in three sections and flat tape towards the inner section of the actual corner. The gold foil, as far as I can remember, is a crafter's companion one. Um, I'm not too sure. I'd have to double check. You could use any foil. Um, I just, I used what I had to hand really. And then the fourth corner, there we go. So that's our four corners. And you see how the corners match for the inside. Next, I've die cut one of the actual papers from the main collection of Days Gone By. And it's the one with the alphabet on. And I know, I know you're all screaming going, oh no. But... You know, it's double-sided and sometimes you've got to bite the bullet and just use it. And uh, for want of a better expression, and just get on in there and use your double-sided papers, even though the back of them is just as gorgeous. So I've dare cut a scallop circle for my base and that was on, it's on 3D foam, but it's quite um, a low foam. Next, I've die cut, and this is a Spellbinders doily die, in ivory, and it's on the low foam, because I just want a, just a little bit of something between the two layers. And that's just general ivory cardstock, because ivory works so well with this collection. Now, next, I've die cut using some of the 8x8 extra papers and this is a Sizex Impression Lits die I'm probably saying that wrong and it kind of gives a 3D impression I've used the plain side not the, you can see the patterns with the roses on I've used the plain side for drama and I've just got a little bit of flat tape on the back of it now I'm going to add one to one side of the doily and I'm going to add a second one to the other side of the doily, keeping the centre free because for the centre I've made something rather special. Now it looks more complicated than it actually is. It's a circle of cardstock with the dragonfly from the centre stamped, um, not stamped, but inked onto it. You know how we inked and blended it for the centre. I've used heat embossing powder, 
I've made a circle frame and I've added some uh, gold sequins into the centre. That's it. So it's kind of like a shaker and it just it works. The cardstock is from the 8x8 in the Days Gone By collection and I've just got flat tape on the back of it. So I can add that to the centre of my doily uh, die cut like so. So I'm hoping I'm getting it central. There we go, press it down. Um, how cool does that look already? I just love that. A little bit different to a normal shaker. Next, I've used um, a die that I have from that great auction site and it's just um, a basic die that it's, it's called coral actually and I've die cut using some of the 8x8 papers I've got flat tape on this and I'm simply going to add these either side on top of the previous die cut just with a gap in the centre then I'm going to do the same at the other side and going over the edge of the embossed it's like a a plume or a leaf or a it's just something a little bit different so I'm adding those and as I say it just sort of kind of goes over the edge and not over the edge so it doesn't cover anything but it's just quite relaxed over the edge I've used the stencil again for one of the dragonflies. Now there's two stencils in the actual Days Gone By collection. But it's the dragonflies I've used with this card. I've inked it again, just like I did the centering for the inside. And then I've used gold embossing powder. I've heat embossed it and I've cut it out. And I've cut it out very roughly. I've just gone round the sides and the shape of the dragonfly. And I'm going to add my dragonfly to one corner and I'm going to add it roughly about there now you might have seen that there's a little quick video to make these roses and these are what's going to finish off our card so the very quick roses and I've used again one of the papers and I'm simply adding silicone glue on the back and I'm going to position it, one of them, over the bottom of the dragonfly. And then I'm going to add two to the opposite side of the card, like so. And that finishes our card perfectly. And it's something a little bit different to do with the Days Gone By collection. It's not difficult even though it does look as though it could be. You could substitute many of the dies that you might already have in your stash if you don't have the ones that I have. If you don't have the coral, you could use uh, leaves. If you don't, uh, it, I'm saying if you don't, if you can't make the flowers, um, if you don't have the little punch to make the flowers, you could use silk flowers or paper flowers that you've maybe purchased. And as for the centre, I think that just, it just makes it stand out. And it's just such a gorgeous card. I say that every time. I sound like a parrot sometimes. The inside matches perfectly with the dragonfly theme. It stands up. You will need padding because of those flowers. Um... Maybe a box, you know. I know people will be writing saying, oh, can you show me how to make a box? Well, I'm sure that you'd be able to find um, a box to fit with the extra padding. I've done a box video before for a 7x5 um, card, but not a 6x6. Maybe something I should look into. Um, I'll put it on my list. But what a great card just such beautiful colours the gold just works with everything and the darkness 
of the paper and the contrast of the flowers. It's just stunning. Gorgeous collection. Please check my blog. There's lots of photos on there. I'll be able to show you inside and outside of the card. And there's so many other projects on there as well. So it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you next time.